How about you? I'm gonna read the story. It is called No More Chores. And let's start the story. Come on, chicks! There are chores awaiting! There's work to do, so no more playing! Uh oh, there's chores to do, so no more playing! Mama dear, we want some fun! Make a game for everyone! Oh, they want games, so uh, they want to do no chores. Let's see how that will work. Follow me! Then while we clean this place, I'll put a smile on your face! Oh, they're following her to see where they're going. Books are lying across our track. Now I guess it is time to put and back red orange yellow green and blue add some purple and we'll see rainbow too well i guess i couldn't ever get out the books the dolls and puppets have had their fun. It is back in the toy chest for everyone. They'll ride this wagon back to their chest. Load them up, chicks. They need a good rest. And now they pick up the toys and put on the wagon. Now it's time for them to go on their toy chest to get some good rest. For the toys only. Some skates so you can tour a race. It does go for outer space. A ball and mitts for outdoor fun. A drum and an accordion. Now that looks so much fun. What they're doing. A jump rope. We can skip and rhyme and puzzle for some quiet time. The wagon's loaded and ready to go. I think someone is missing though. We're not playing puzzles and are playing jump rope. They're playing very quietly. Let's see what they would do next. Mr. Bunny is not around, but wait, I think I hear a sound. Help, I'm lost. Do you hear it too? Let's go see what we can do. Let's see what they will do. They can help the bunny, Mr. Bunny. Smooth that sheet and tie that blanket. Pull that bedspread, really yank it. Out pumps Bunny, floppity flip. Put him in the wagon in time for the trip. Out goes the bunny off the bed. Now the bunny is on the wagon. So let's see what they would do next. Let's go, chicks. It is time to roll and join the pet and plant patrol. We will take some seeds and spread them out and dig and de prune and give a shout. Oh, that's so unique. What they're doing is complete. Let's see while they're planting. And they're gardening and they're wandering all the plants and trees. That's so beautiful what they're doing together. Back inside to feed the fish. Look at their colors and make a wish. 
Then tap the fish for what you think. I guess he doesn't need a drink. That looks what a feeding the fish so they could eat and not to drink because they don't need to drink. Hmm, this is a good storybook. The plant get water so they all grow. It is make it always make me wonder though. It isn't tasty, doesn't it crunch? Is it a bad or is it a lunch? Ooh, now they're wanting the plants. Are they taking the bath or are they taking a lunch of crunch? <laughs> That's really cool what they're doing together as a family. Always need to water your plants when it's very, 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 very hot. And here we are at our last stop. So circle around the tabletop. Here are some plates, some pork, and some spoons. Dear chicks, take your seats and we'll sing some tunes. They're gonna sing some tunes. Now they're sitting around the table and uh, with the tablecloth. Now let's see what they will do next. For books are in order, the toys put away, our pets and plants care, for we had quite a day. The table is set, so please take a seat, pass me your bowels, it is time for a treat. Pass me your bowels. It's time to take a treat. So now they're going to get a treat, and it looks yummy. Three and that's the end of her story. And look, she's hugging her baby chicks. The end. Well, I guess what's really important is that you gotta keep it clean. You gotta pick up your chores, right, Carmen? You, you, you are right. And let me get my friend, Mr. Crow. <laughs> hey, don't. Hey. Get over here! Where is Carmen? Right here! So what do we learn about the story about no more chores? Well, the three baby chicks do not want to clean, but the mother says, you gotta pick up all your chores. So, what do they start with first? They pick up the colors from each book and put it back on the bookshelf. Where they all go! And what the, the mother chick said? What's the next chores? Well, the next chores was to water the plants. Yes, and feed the plants. You gotta feed the plants when it's very hot. You feed them with water. And they love water so they could grow really, really, really big. Yep, that is true. But it's very hot on a sunny day. Is you see the plant falling down or like this going down, put water. So they will grow. So do they put water for the plants? Yes, indeed. So another question. Was the mom a chicken um, teaching her baby chicks to clean? Yes, she was. He was. She was teaching them how to clean carefully. That way nowhere around the house will be a mess anymore. No more mess in the house. So another question. What, what, um, what are they doing next? What's the next horse?
Hmm? Well, they start to jump rope. And they play with puzzle very quietly. And they follow Mama Chicken to outside. And they help her clean outside. And they went back at home. And they pick up all their toys. And they put all their toys in the toy chest. But well, first, they put them in the wagon. And they put them in the toy chest. So that way there will be no more mess. <laughs> and then what happened next? Well... They went to the kitchen to sit around the table and put the tablecloth on the table. So they are ready for what? To eat some treats from Mama. Wow, they did pretty good, right? Yes, they did. They help Mama clean the entire house. That way no more messes around. Mom, what advice when you get to the boys and girls? Always pick up all your mess and that way they won't be around anymore. Nowhere in your house, nowhere in your yard, nowhere around you and don't make any mess any more and then you have a mess you have to help clean up all your chores and help your mama out okay boys and girls you help a family to clean all the mess and that way you earn a treat that is best a treat a lovely treat and prizes and that's the end of our story. Well, did you guys pick up your mess? Hmm? 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 Yes, we do. A lot of times, we always have to clean up every single mess. That way, everywhere and at home, we clean and spotless. Not a dust, not a, hmm, no germs either, and also not a mess. Everything has to be clean and healthy too. So, at the end of the story, was she hugging her baby chicks? Yes, she was. Because they all helped. Mama Chicken out in the house. Wow, you do you guys did really good today. You guys remember the whole entire story? Yes, we did because we love stories. That way we could learn all about it. And maybe boys and girls and your parents need help at home to clean. You gotta clean up all your mess. Okay, that way you could have some free time and eat some treats and probably win a prize. Yes, okay, so you gotta behave and help out. Don't be grouchy like Mr. Crow. And don't be lazy like Mr. Carmen. Okay, you guys are taking it very serious. Sorry. Sorry. Alright guys, we gotta go. Say good night. Good night, everybody. And don't forget to help out clean. And don't be rude to your parents. Okay? And you gotta do all your chores and clean all of your mess out of the room. Okay? Good night. Good night. I'm gonna win that prize. No, I'm gonna win that prize. And they're off to bed. So what I can say, boys and girls, is you gotta keep your house clean. 
That way, there will be no more mess. And also, it has to be spotless, clean, and safe for you to play and to be with family. And you finish all your chores? Well, you know what that means. Free time and a treat for you, kids, okay? So, good night, everybody. I hope you all enjoy the story. Bye-bye.